president of SeaWorld Parks and Resorts, Terry Prather. There's a lot of great things going to be happening as we celebrate 50. But the key is, it's going to be a sea of surprises. And it's going to be around every corner. One of the things that's coming up really soon, in just a matter of weeks, we'll be reopening our One Ocean Show. I know many of you have been waiting for that. Starting April 11th, it's coming back. We have to do some maintenance on the pool, so it's coming back. Also, for those that loved our Dine with Shamu, they'll be back soon. So a lot of great things happening, a lot of surprises. But I have to tell you this. You know, we've talked about this for many years, the fact that SeaWorld is all about making waves and we've been making waves you know we talked about in 2011 we opened the Grand Reef over at Discovery Cove and 2012 we brought you Turtle Trek here at SeaWorld and Freshwater Oasis at Discovery Cove and this this past year in 2013 we launched the largest expansion in our company's history Antarctica Empire of the Penguin Something coming soon, May 9th, get ready for it. It will be the tallest, fastest thing at Aquatica, our park just across the street. Aquatica, SeaWorld's water park, will be opening Ehu's Breakaway Falls. And you'll be breaking away. And as you go down the slide, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen. But just hang on. No, there will be no wedgies. But it will be fun. So lots going on, lots of surprises. But one thing I will tell you, you know, without one, one of the things that we do at SeaWorld, and we've always done it, and we'll continue to do this, with every new attraction, with every new show, we bring in a new song. And it wouldn't be a new attraction or a celebration without a song. And this song is dedicated to all of our heroes, those military, our pass holders, and the rest. The song is Beneath the Blue, and it's sung by our friend, Miss Kendra Lucas.
to SeaWorld's 50th celebration, Sea of Surprises. On behalf of everyone here at SeaWorld, we just want to say thank you. And we hope you join us for the next 50 years. Have a whale of a day, everyone, here at SeaWorld. San Diego was our first park in 64, SeaWorld Orlando was in 73, and what we're trying to do within the park is we have what we're calling timeline markers, but there are other decor elements, timeline markers and banners and things, that speak to the history of the park. So you're going to learn more about SeaWorld's history, not just in Orlando, but in San Diego, San Antonio. It means that we have an opportunity to take the summer and elevate it. Um, you know, we always do a little something different in the summer, try to bring things, you know, bring our A-game in the summer to really provide some value to the guests, but, but knowing that we have a three-park initiative to do this sea of surprises, it really enabled us, I think, to step it up and make, you know, this spring, this summer, into the fall, really something special.